silver dime right there, 1954. That's the first coin in this lot. I'm on virgin ground here. Clad quarter. Wee penny. 1950 Another wee penny 52 I got a ring. <laughs> I got a silver ring here. Look at that. It's stone in it too. It might be silver, I don't know. It could have been gold plate. Who knows? I'll clean it up and show it on the wrap up. That's a good find. A little mood ring. That's a deep coin signal. Another weedy, 1941. Pretty good. Is it really? Yep. <laughs> First pull tab here. Another silver, silver dime right there. We got some Merc. Nice. Silver 16 for the year. That last one I got was 15. What's that? A 44. 1944.
I'm in a virgin yard here. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Another wheat penny. Getting mixed reading on this one, but Corn Jefferson and with some red ants. Nineteen forty six. Found a forty one over there. I didn't turn the signal on. Forty six Jefferson. Take that. Oh. Got something else down there. We got another silver. It's another Merc. Heck yeah. Oh man. Yes. What's that? What year's that one? Second Merc today. Silver 17 for the year 43. Yes. Put that right there. Oh, I got more. Got a coin spill. Got a coin spill. Got another nickel. Oh, 47, Jefferson. That might be it. Sweet. 240 Jeffersons, 240 something Jeffersons, and another Merc. Awesome. Starting to get a little bit of EMI in this area. We got another wheat penny. One right there. Another weed. Nineteen fifty three. Yeah, on the nineteen fifties Virgin Yard in the back this time. I try the impact today. This house was one owner. Let's see how we do. Alright, first target with the impact. How long I'll be able to swing the impact? The batteries die quick on it, and they're not fresh. So, <laughs> Corn. 
Coin Memorial. Second target, I got a silver already. And you can't see that, it's right here. <laughs> oh my god, it's a Merc already. <sighs> Second target, 1942. Yes. A wee penny. 1951, I think. Okay, well, unfortunately, my camera mount broke while using the impact, but I wanted to show you what the impact does when it completely runs out of batteries. It puts a big L in the middle of the screen for low battery. But I'll have to switch over to the Simplex. Okay, doing a little voiceover on this clip. For some reason, sometimes the GoPro doesn't get audio sometimes but this is the first time it's happened on a find I wanted to show back with the simplex in the same yard here this was my first target with the simplex in it <laughs> and end up being a, a war nickel so I just wanted to do a little commentary over this because I wanted to show this clip uh, I don't know what the date is on it I think it's a 43 43p but this war nickel make, made my 19th silver for, for 2021, right there. And uh, there's more to come in this video. But for some reason the simplex, um, a lot of st stuff off camera I was didn't film. I think there's a lot deeper targets there because I was hitting on some of the targets just barely registering on, on my pinpoint. and. Just getting a lot of interference today with the uh, Simplex. As many finds as I made back there today, I think the impact would have done a little bit better on the deeper targets. A wee penny. Oh wait, nope. Is that a weedy? A memorial. It's a weedy. Well, so far the back is proving to be just as epic as the front. I'm glad I was able to get a couple good targets with the impact. But I still haven't used it that much. That. Oh, it's an old button. Sweet. Look at that sucker. It's a good find. I don't know what's on it. Looks like an old one. Looks like a Masonic or symbol or something. 
Get some writing on it. I'll take it home, clean it up, show it on the wrap up. A weedy. Looks like an older one. <laughs> Pretty slick. 1919. Uh oh, I don't know if you can see that, I got a gold chain, don't know if it's real gold or not, but that, didn't ring up like gold, oh, broken, it's breaking, yeah that's probably not real gold, it might have been gold plate, but Little chain right there. Got a charm with it. Yep, there's a charm right there. Definitely not gold, but kind of one of the miraculous metals. I don't know. Could that be silver? A lot of these are sterling, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, cool. That's a good find. more chain here. More chain right there. Heck yeah. I'll take that even if it ain't precious metal. Good find. Old holes nozzle. Super deep. Faint pinpoints. Usually, always. Oh, I got silver. I just seen it pop. Right here. This is right where I found the other Merc with the impact. What's that? It's a rosy. Years that one. 1952. Silver number 20. Third silver today. Awesome.
nice. Another button. This is the same one I found yesterday. This one's got some gold gilt on it. Not Masonic, like I said. It's, uh, I don't know what that says. It's cool. Okay, well, I didn't turn this uh, VDI on, but I got a ring right there. Sick button ring of around 66. I think it's just a junker. But you never know, that could be silver. Actually, I think it is silver. It's a small one. It's broke. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll uh, clean it up. We'll see if it's silver, see if it's got any markings on it. Some kind of rock. Okay, super iffy scratchy signal, but I detected this signal yesterday, but I let it go because I couldn't get past the roots. I took my time today. <laughs> I just hit it again. I think it got a silver dime. Yep, it's oh, another Merc. Silver 21 here. Another 43. 1943 43d awesome it's a seventh silver out of this yard Okay, this is my wrap up for the uh, epic three day memorial hunt. Real quick, here's a, some, some of the oddball stuff. I didn't keep none of the trash. I had a whole, really not that much trash anyways, but anyways, I found a rose garden thing. I don't know what that is. We had dog toy, shotgun shell, a couple other things. Thought that was a ring, but just don't think so. Um, 116 coins all together at that place. I probably spent seven hours there. Um, three hours Saturday, three hours Sunday, and then Memorial Monday, probably another two. Um, on the top, there's all the zincs. All these are the copper memorials, clad dimes, clad quarters, Jefferson Nichols. Uh, yeah, these are all the Wheaties. What is it? 32 to 3 to 4. I think it's 34. I'm going to call them on camera. 34 Wheats. I think I got 10 the first day, 19 the second day, and then the rest on the third day. Um, this is an unknown coin. 1957 Canadian. Then I found this. I didn't realize. It's a 1932 Canadian. King George. 
I didn't realize I even found that. I thought it I probably just seen the one cent. Thought it was a wheat penny. Found a few buttons. That one off camera. I don't think that one was on camera either. And I got these two buttons that they're the same. Found two of them. Spec Timor Agendo. I don't know. I looked it up. I seen them on Treasure Net. I think somebody said they're from the 1950s or something. There's some kind of some kind of buttons. I don't know, Spanish name or something. Got the mood ring. I don't think it, that's no markings in it. So it's just junk. Same thing with this. Thought that was silver. Another junker. But still ring. Found the miraculous metal. Looks like a silver plate, but obviously it's not pure silver because it's breaking. And I got the uh, silver coins. 54, 52, a 44 mark, 42, 43, 43, and then a 43 war nickel. Got one of these mercs with uh, two of the Jeffersons, a 46 and then a 47. The 54 Rosie is an S, which is kind of a more scarce one out of the Rosies. That's a plain, that merc is a D, this merc's an S. 43 is a plain, and this 43 is a D. So, that was it. Pretty good. Did excellent on the wheat pennies. That's for sure. I'm not going to go through all the dates. The oldest is a 1919, this one. Most of them are from the 50s and the 40s. I think I got a couple in there from the 30s. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I got the hose nozzle. Try to take a good picture of it. It says patent pinned Italy on it. I can't really make out what the name of that is. So I don't know if that would be a vintage one or not. Because I know they still sell these. You can still buy them. But I imagine if that was made in Italy. It's probably kind of old. I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.